Hello there! My name is Gantare and today I'll show you what it takes to become a web developer. Whether you're a student who wants to kickstart a career or you're thinking of pursuing a new professional journey, it's possible to become a web developer with little to no experience. A web developer is one of the most in-demand jobs nowadays. As more and more business go online, a well-developed website or application is a must-have asset. Working as a web developer also has its perks. The salary is competitive and the position is mostly remote, offering great flexibility. Learn programming languages. To become a web developer, the first thing you need to do is learn programming languages. Start with learning the basics of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Why these three? That's because these three languages cover the essential web development functions. HTML defines the structure of a web page's content, such as creating sections, headings, and body text. CSS describes how HTML document will be presented to the site visitor, such as modifying a web page's background, color, and other visual elements. And JavaScript enables developers to create interactive elements such as carousels or interactive page transitions. But wait, is it possible to understand all of those and become a web developer without a degree? The answer is yes, it's totally possible. There are many boot camps, online courses, and certification programs from platforms like Udemy or Google. If you're still considering whether to invest in your web developer career, you can try free classes from organizations like Free Code Camp. Joining programmer forums like Stack Overflow is also a great idea. Not only will you find a number of free resources, but you'll get the chance to learn from fellow developers. But doing courses and obtaining certificates is just the beginning. Many self-taught web developers adopt the following approach. They take a course on, let's say, creating landing pages. Then, after finishing the course, they try to rebuild that landing page without the guidance of the course. If they forget something or the page doesn't turn out as expected, they look for solutions on Google, Stack Overflow, or tutorials on YouTube. This approach will help you learn the web development process. You will not remember everything you've learned, so you have to know how to find necessary information effectively. If you're sure you want to go further in your web development journey, we recommend joining paid training programs, as they usually emphasize practical skills. While these programs are generally more intense, they allow the participants to learn at their own pace. But depending on what kind of web developer you want to be, having a bachelor's degree in computer science or programming surely gives you more in-depth knowledge in this field and might give you more credibility during the job searching phase. If you're interested in web development but think that coding is not for you, you may consider a career in web design instead. You'll learn how to design web pages, including their user interface and user experience. Still, knowing how to code will also benefit web designers. Choose a specialization. While learning the necessary programming languages, decide what type of web development you want to focus on based on your passion and existing abilities. There are basically three areas of expertise – front-end, back-end, and full-stack development. A front-end developer is responsible for the website's user experience and user interface. This means you'll be the one who ensures that the site looks nice, is user-friendly, and that each visual element is functional. Usually, front-end developers work closely with web designers or UI and UX designers. They will give you the web design and you'll make it into reality, creating the site's layout and navigation. To be a front-end web developer, you need to have graphic design knowledge, an understanding of user behavior, and sufficient knowledge of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Even better if you also understand frameworks and libraries like React.js and jQuery. The next type of expertise is back-end development. As a back-end developer, you'll focus on writing code for creating the site's core, managing databases, and other server-side activities. You'll be responsible for the part of the website that is unseen by the site visitors, 
but is essential for the site's functionality and performance. In their day-to-day -day life, back-end developers work alongside front-end developers to create a site infrastructure that powers the front-end. For this role, you'll expect to understand server-side coding languages like PHP, Python, or Node.js, plus back-end frameworks like Laravel and CodeIgniter. It's also essential to have logic and critical thinking skills. Finally, we have full-stack developers, who essentially have the skills and knowledge of both front-end and back-end developers. They can handle everything related to web development, including building a website and fixing issues in any part of it. You can specialize in either the front-end or back-end development first and continue learning along the way. Eventually, you can master both fields and become a reliable full-stack developer. Additional relevant skills. Besides programming languages and other technical knowledge, learning skills such as version control, SEO, and UX writing can help you deliver better web development results. Version control system or source control helps developers to keep track of any changes done to the source code. It helps developers collaborate with more flexibility, as they can work at any time and on any file simultaneously. The most popular version control system is Git, and knowing how to handle Git, like committing code in GitHub and executing Git commands, will benefit you in the job market. It shows that you understand the systematic development process. It will also help if you understand the basics of SEO or search engine optimization. This includes site ranking factors that are related to the site infrastructure, such as mobile-friendly design and easy navigation. As for UX writing, you should understand the basics of microcopy of web pages, landing pages, or software elements. It can help you estimate the space for words, determine the visitor's behaviors and needs, and identify other elements that can affect the site's design gain experience and build a portfolio. Now that you have learned and practiced your web development skills, you'll need to build a portfolio. A portfolio is a representation of your competencies, experience, and achievements. It helps showcase your credibility as a professional by providing proof of your career progress. It's a valuable asset for job searching, since it shows recruiters that you're really capable of doing the required tasks. As a web developer, you can also use your portfolio website as a way to impress prospective clients, killing two birds with one stone, right? Now let's talk about how you can start filling your portfolio. The simplest way to gain experience is by taking on volunteer work. Offer to create a personal or business website for your family or friends. They can help spread the word about your talents and in return, you add one more item to your portfolio. Other alternatives to build your portfolio include improving or redesigning an existing website, reach out to local small businesses, communities, or charity events near you. Many of them lack the resources and workforce to build a quality website, so this is where you come in. Create your own website development project. Create a website based on your interests, such as gaming, to showcase your web development skills. For example, as a front-end developer, you can create a mobile-friendly website with a simple navigation and animated transitions. Participate in open-source projects. It's an excellent way to sharpen your coding skills and network with fellow developers. GitHub is a great place to start. Find an open-source project that interests you. Then begin with minor tasks like writing a piece of documentation or fixing minor bugs. Don't forget to always document your experience in your online portfolio as you progress. Describe what you did in each of the projects, who you work with, and provide links to your client's website or a GitHub project, so potential clients and recruiters can check out your work. To help you stand out from other developers, list the programming languages and web development skills you have mastered. Also, include all relevant certifications and courses you have completed. Last but not least, add a contact form, your email address, or list your LinkedIn profile so people can easily contact you. Looking for a web development job As a web developer, you can either work in a company or run independently as a freelancer. If you have strong time management skills, it's also possible to work a day job and get a freelance gig in your free time. Let's go through each option. 
If you prefer to work in a company environment, then it's time to apply for job postings in the web development field. Look for your dream job on job portals like Glassdoor and Indeed. LinkedIn is also a great place to search for a job. Simply go to Jobs tab in your LinkedIn dashboard and enter the job title and your preferred location. Use the filters to find more specific results suitable to your experience level. You can also set up job alerts. This way LinkedIn will notify you each time there is a new job posting that match your preference. But if there are companies that you'd like to work for, follow them to stay in the know about their job vacancies. Then network with web developers and other relevant people in the industry. It's super important to keep your LinkedIn profile up to date and use the hashtag open to work badge to let people know that you're currently looking for a job. Besides that, joining web development communities like webdeveloper.com and designer hangout can also help expand your network and expose you to more job opportunities. Become a freelance web developer. If you prefer to be a freelancer, you can start by applying for small web development projects in freelance marketplaces like Fiverr. As you gain more skills, you can aim for projects with higher demands. Or you can try to register to freelance developer platforms like Codeable and Upstack. While Fiverr includes all types of jobs, these two focus on web development roles. But to succeed as a freelance web developer, you'll need to create a business plan. The plan should cover all key operational aspects and expense estimates, helping you reach your target income and professional goals. As for determining your pricing, consider your level of expertise, past work experience, location, and the project's complexity. You can set time-based pricing with hourly or daily rates or project-based pricing. Do extensive research online to find the pricing and pitching approaches used by other freelancers on online communities, forums, or blogs. You can also reach out to fellow freelance web developers to ask for a standard or minimum figure for a particular service. By the way, speaking about money, it's helpful to create a separate bank account that is dedicated for your freelance business. This will give an easier way to calculate taxes, revenue and expenses. How long does it take to become a web developer? There you go! I have explored the 5 steps you should take to kickstart your career as a web developer. First, you have to learn programming languages. Then, choose a specialization and earn additional relevant skills. Then, gain experience and build your portfolio. Finally, choose whether you want to look for a web development job in a company or work independently as a freelancer. If you're still in the research phase, you might wonder how long will it take to complete that process and finally be a web developer? The answer is it depends on your capacity to learn the craft. If you can dedicate a few hours of your time every day to learn and practice the basics, it may take around 5 to 6 months. That's because it usually takes about 34 weeks to complete a coding bootcamp or 12 months for a university certificate program. But again, it may vary depending on the learning intensity as nowadays many courses are offered as self-based programs. What do you think? Are you ready to start your journey as a web developer? If you have any questions about what you should do to become a web developer, let me know in the comments below. And if you find this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and hit the subscribe button. Good luck and see you next time!